Hello, in this video we show you how to enable do not disturb mode or sort of blocking mode on the Samsung Galaxy Ace 3. So one of the options built into the Ace 3 by Samsung is a do not disturb mode. And if you go into the settings through the apps and settings and you click on my device and you can scroll down to blocking mode or do not disturb mode, whichever name you wish to give it. And you can see it's currently switched off as indicated by the gray icon here, but we can switch on by sliding the icon across to the right hand side. If we tap into it, we can find out more information about it and what it does. So blocking mode, when this mode is enabled, notifications for selected features will be disabled. You will only receive notifications from incoming calls from people on your allowed list. So the best way to describe this is if you want to keep your phone on at night because your partner, wife, children may be out and you want them to be able to contact you but you don't want work contacts um, or other friends annoying you throughout the night with calls or messages so the people on your allowed list might be your partner close family uh, your children but you can decide how it works and what it blocks so normally you'd want it to block incoming calls and disable notifications, disable alarm and timer. But you can switch any of these on or off based on your circumstances. Set time is always, well, that could be based on just when you switch it on or off. But if you've got a really strict routine, then you can set specific times. So rather than always, you untick that and you can select the specific time from which it runs from. So it could be at nine o'clock at night to six o'clock in the morning, blocking mode is enabled. The phone will automatically switch on blocking mode if the device itself is switched on. But if you click always, it will remain in blocking mode until you switch the service off and it will come back on again when you switch it on. You then have allowed contacts and you can see that we've got none. So if I tap in here, you can decide. So you've got all contacts. So that means that anyone who's stored on your phone will be able to call you, but any unknown numbers won't call. You could select favorites. So that's specific ones that have been marked as favorites on your phone or custom. And probably most people go for custom where you select this and then you can be taken through to this screen where you can add. So you can press the plus icon and you can choose the contacts. Of course, this will be uh, based on yourself. So you tap the contact or contacts you want and you click done and see now that test contact one has been added. So if I come back out of this screen, I now have an allowed contacts list. And if I click in here, I've got test contact one. I can add additional people by pressing the plus icon or indeed by pressing the menu button, I can click delete and I then get the option to delete selected or all contacts from that allowed list. So you can choose and configure until you're happy and you can set the times and dates and what happens and just simply turn it on or off. When active, you get a little notification bar up in the top that says blocking mode is enabled. If you tap on that, it will take you through to the blocking mode settings where you can then control, configure or switch the service off.